Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to change the belt. So if your blades are not spinning, this is the deck belt. How to change the belt on the deck. John Deere X320, and it's a 48 inch deck. This is also the deck with the wheels that move. That'll be important in the part numbers later. So the deck, the wheels do pivot. So just make sure this is what the, the John Deere tractor looks like. And again, the blades are not spinning. So with your tractor running, when you lift this up, see how the blades aren't turning? But I can hear it engaging. And if I look down here, I can see the belt has come off the deck. It mainly comes off of that pulley right there. Okay, so I've got it pulled in the garage here. We're going to have to pull the deck off. So when you pull it in, give yourself plenty of room on the right-hand side. We're gonna pull the deck off to the right-hand side. So give yourself plenty of room that way. Okay, so I do have another video on how to take the deck off, but I am gonna show you how to take this deck off really quick. Now it tells you to, to pivot these wheels because we're gonna pull it off. At an, we're, gonna, we're gonna slide it out this way. I just find that to be too much work. You gotta, you gotta undo this. Pull that pin and then the wheel will turn. It does make it a lot easier. I find that I just, if I've got a nice surface, I can just pull it out on. So I'm not gonna be pivoting my wheels. Okay, so the first step to getting your deck off, it's cut, you've gotta follow each step and you can't miss one. So you've got your deck set at your normal height. We've gotta turn this arrow, we've gotta turn it down to here. And a little bit past one, right about to here. But in order to adjust your deck, you have to lift your deck. And you gotta use your, your foot so press down all the way and see that that lifts the deck. Now I can turn this. And again, I want to go one past this one right there. Now I can let the deck up. Now I got to lock the deck. If you look right here, before changing lock pedal here. So you're like, well, how do I get it there? You got to pull it. So see how when I, I pull the pedal, it's, 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 it's not something you would think to do. So pull the pedal to that spot now. See, it won't stay. You gotta lift that lever. Okay, there, I did it. While I was pulling this, you have to lift this lever. It's up and it, it keeps the pedal there. Now the pedal is locked. That's very, very important. So don't touch that lever, it could come coming down, but we're gonna have to. So now we come down here. Now we find this lever. See how it's being held right there? We're gonna push it down. It's not, gonna, it's not spring, it's, it is a little spring on it. So be careful, it does have a little spring tension on it. Pull the lever, now pull the lever towards you. That's gonna expose this, this cotter pin down here on this black lever. We've got to remove this cotter pin. So again, this is what it looks like. I've got that lever pulled all the way out. I need to gain access to this right here. There's a little cotter pin. Okay, now there's a washer. So there's a washer that goes right there and then there's a cotter pin now I can lift this black lever up out of this little hole okay then I need to bring it around and I need to get more I need to get more travel on this black rod see how it's, it's gonna I need to pull that thing this way more now I've got it all the way here it's disconnected from this I can put this out of the way. Don't lose these. These are, these are very, very important. I always put mine right here, but even there, sometimes I lose them. Now, that disengages the drive belt, or the, the belt from the mower to the deck. That belt is good. But now I can get my hand in here. I like to call that like the, this is the, this belt right here. Now I can get that off. I can get it off there, and then get it off around back. 
and it comes off the back too. So now I can take this belt. This belt is not bad. This is the one that goes from the engine, from the bottom of the engine pulley to the top of the deck. This, this belt is good. So we can put this off to the side. It's a good, if, if it is bad, that's, that's how you would change that belt. But my belt, and I've been putting it back on. It hasn't broke, but it just keeps coming off. So if it, they, what they do is they stretch. So if you've had to put your belt on several times, it's time to change it. Okay, now I've got that off. I need to pull these pins. And I just pull them, and then I lift this lever up because it'll get caught. Get it up out of the way, and then let the pin back. Okay, that way it won't get it won't get caught in there. But we're gonna lift that up here in just a second. But pull pull this pin, and then lift that lever up. Now come over to the right side. We gotta do the right same thing on the right side. Okay. There's that pin. It can be hard, but just pull it and lift the black thing up. You know, sometimes I do have to have somebody help me. But... but you want the black thing to be disengaged from it. There, see how that's the hole that was there. So now we're gonna raise these arms. Now we gotta be careful. The way we're gonna raise these arms, we're gonna go back over to the left side. It has to do with this pedal. So this is under a lot of spring tension. Be very, very careful. But you gotta hold this up so and pull it towards you. It takes a, now make sure you I always make sure this is engaged so my mower doesn't move because you're pulling and pushing a lot. So pull this towards you. Okay, I've got I've got I've got that held. And then you're gonna push this button down. Okay, I push that button down. Now, that's gonna release this. Be very careful, there's a, there's a lot of spring tension here. Be very careful. Let it down slowly. Okay, what that did is, that raised those arms. Now, those arms are out of the way. Let's go over here to the right side. That arm is out of the way. Now, I just got to disengage this front. So this arm, I just got to push it forward a little bit. Lift that up. And now my deck, well, it caught there again. Oh yeah, crank your wheel. Crank your wheel all the way to the left. That gets you a nice big opening now. Now, I can pull this deck out. work it back and forth again these are these are doing okay even though I didn't turn them it always catches on this one a little bit you gotta push it back so we'll push it back and then it'll clear now we're clear you can see I've just been working the deck out and we're just going to keep pulling until it's all the way out there's our deck this deck is extremely heavy heavy so be careful now there's a thing i like to put this bag now's a good time to sharpen your blades and there's three grease circuits here here in there. So I have a detailed video on how to sharpen the blades on this very mower. I'll show you what size to use and everything. But again, be very careful. This thing is very heavy. Okay, so this is what your deck looks like with the belt installed. Now your belt may have snapped, but mine is just loose. It's stretched. So I want to show you this is how the belt is installed. So it wraps around this, it goes underneath that, goes through this, around this, around this, 
here, around the back side of this bottom belt, and back around. Now, in order to get this belt off, it can be a little tricky. So previously we disconnected, we disconnected this, that we need to leave that disconnected. So it's gonna be a little tricky, but you gotta move, you gotta move this, it's counter, it's counterproductive, what you, it's counterintuitive to what you would think. You'd think you'd move it this way, but that really doesn't get us slack. So you gotta move it that way, move it back towards the mower and it should stay there like that. Now, this is where we're gonna get our slack. This is on spring tension here. And it can be a little tricky, but if you grab this, you see how that moves. That moves even more and that gets us our slack. So again, I gotta move this. This is where I'm gonna get my slack from. When I move it, you can see I can get a, I can get a lot of a lot of slack, and that's what you're going to have to do in order to get the old belt off and the new belt on. It's all right here. You don't get enough slack by just moving this back pulley, and again, it doesn't move this. So moving this doesn't move this. This is where the slack comes from. So let's. Let's and getting the belt, see it's got a lot of tension on it, even now. But if I move this, I'm gonna to try to do this. Bear with me here. Okay, so if I move this, I can take the, I can take the belt off. There, I've got my belt off. Now, I want to take these black things off. There's a little bolt here. And there's a bolt here. I gotta take these covers off. I also have to take this off. Okay, so you're gonna need half inch. I like deep well. Deep well works really good. So this is standard. It doesn't take metric. So you're just gonna, you're gonna take that bolt off. Okay, so once you got that bolt out, this just slides and then lifts up. There's two little grooves that those ears slide in. So only one bolt and put it off to the side. Now, this is also a good time to clean all this out. Now, I have had acorns and stuff get wedged in here. I've, I've actually ruined a belt because an acorn and a stick got wedged in here and it burnt the belt up. And I've also had a, a tree limb get in here and kick the belt off. So, but I know my, even though my belt is not broke, it's bad because it's come off twice. Each time I've mowed, it's come off. So it's just stretched. It's not being held on there very good. And these things need to be really, really tight in order for them not to come off. So even though this belt, it still looks kind of good. It's bad. I need to change it out. Again, this one over here, it's just got one bolt. Okay, take the bolt out. Again, slide this. Oh, this one slides a little different. It's they gotta be different. So it slides that way. And it, it, this one's always the hardest one. So it slides different. It slides towards the edge of the deck. Where that one slides back. This one slides different. See how there you got the big tangs. Right there. So now we got to take this. Yeah, it's a good idea to get that out of the way. Okay, so this one can be kind of hard to get out. It gets, it doesn't come out very often. It gets kind of rusted. So, and it sticks down into the deck. So be careful. This one could be a little tricky. You might have to put a little WD-40 on that. Or one bolt. You need to get this this off because it's got to go in between. Okay, so now we push that and we've got the belt loose. We've got this off, the covers off. Now the belt should just come all the way off. Come on. Right 
there. And it comes out around here. There you go. So again, my belt was, I think it's just really, really stretched. So sometimes I buy cheap belts, but this belt's such a pain. I went ahead and bought the John Deere one. It's about 40 bucks. I got it off of Amazon. It's the M154958. I've still got the manual for this. And here's for the 48. And here's the picture of it. Talks about G. Talks about pushing G over to release the spring tension. So if you need to pause the video, that's how the belt goes. Okay, up here in the parts section, belts. So this is the mower. M, and again, 40, 48 inch with rotatable anti-scalp wheels. That's what I have. That's what those are. They rotate. I need the mower. So I come over here, M154958. M154958, yeah. So this belt is really stiff, <laughs> but it's a V belt. So one side is going to be thicker. So that's thick. And if you twist it to the back side, that's thin. That's why they call it a V belt and there's an, and it's angled and it's a V belt because these, so the V can go in there like that. That's why it's a V belt. You don't want to get it like that. It won't go in there. If it looks like that, it, it's not installed right. It's a V-belt like that. So let's blow this deck out. Okay, so if you don't have, I really recommend one of these long extensions. These things work awesome for blowing things out. It gets you away from where you're blowing so that you don't get stuff in your eyes in that. But it's a good idea. You get lots of stuff down here. Now would be a good time also to lube. Check these. These are rotating really nice. I've already greased mine for the year. There's a grease cert there. There's no play. You know, I am getting a little bit of play in this. I'm going to have to replace that. There's no grease cert on that. Check that. No play. Rotates real freely. These look good. Okay, let's put the new one on again. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to replace this. That does look pretty good. It's not super bad yet. Okay, so if you remember how it came off, we've gotta go. We gotta go on this black arm, come around, come between that bolt and that, go around. We're gonna go to this one and that one. This thing's really stiff. It's gonna be a lot of fun to deal with, I can tell. So you can see how this one's V-shaped and this one's flat. That means the flat side of the of the belt's gonna go up against it. Okay, so I've got it to this point. Again, the V shape is here. The flat side is there. It wraps around, goes around the back side, around that one, around in between. So this is where we're gonna, this is the tricky part, getting it on this. This is a flat part. So the flat part of this belt's gonna go on this pulley right here. And again, I'm gonna have to push to get my slack, I gotta push, push this. And I can get a lot of travel out, but it's really hard. Okay, so I've prepared myself. I've got all the slack right to this point. It's on all the pulleys. And now I'm going to push this and get it on. Okay, so bear with me.
Okay, so that's pretty tough. I think I'm gonna take it off of, I think I'm gonna take it off of this pulley to get me enough slack. I'm gonna try that. Because getting, it doesn't wanna go underneath this pulley very well. There's just not much clearance underneath here. You'll see okay so I've got it on this one but I've got it off of this one so now I got to get my slack so that I can get it so I'm gonna push this to get the slack to get it on there there that worked out a lot better that's the trick get it on this pulley leave it off of this pulley push this on and then push it on this by pushing this now my belt is on The hardest part is there's not much clearance underneath here to get the belt on. Because you got to go up underneath this pulley to get it on. So, wraps around this big pulley, wraps around that, 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 and that. So that is why you buy a good belt. I don't, I don't enjoy doing that at all. So... Now let's reassemble it. Let's put our covers on. I'm gonna put this on first. This goes like here, just one bolt. Cover, cover. I did see some belts as cheap as $17. I, I just would not put a cheap belt on. This one is extremely hard to change. Okay, guards on, covers are on. We gotta do a little bit of work to this back here. So if you remember right, we pushed that back. So now we wanna we need to get that back that way. Yeah. It can be really tough, so be careful. But we wanna be able to get this. This pulley needs to be right about here so that we can move it with this arm but it's really really tough with that eventually I might have to replace that spring that spring is really wearing all right so now these are I don't think there's a way of be nice if you could lock these in the open position like get those right there and, and lock those if, if there was a button you could push to keep that in that position It'd save, our, it'd save ourselves so much time when we go to put those pins in. So we're gonna leave this, leave this done, but make sure this, you gotta move this pulley back that way. If you don't, it won't fit in the more. I've tried. But it can be really, really tricky. So this is how you wanna get it ready to go. So now we're gonna slide it back in. Move this lever. We're just kinda stowing this lever right now. All right, so there's no good way. You just gotta, you've got everything prepared. You just got to keep pushing it back and forth. And again, if the wheels were moved, it would be a little easier, but I just don't wanna take the time to move the wheels. I guess I'm lazy. It always catches on that one right there. So you gotta move it back. And again, I'm only using one hand because I'm filming. side and pull sometimes you can see what it's catching on yeah it's that back 
it's that black thing. So we gotta go forward. So it likes to catch on the tire right there. Give it a swift kick to get that pulley in. Now it should go. This thing's a back killer. Ding. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, when it starts to look like it's getting close to being installed, you're gonna put the front end in first. So move it back and then put the, the front end in first Then push it back. Now we got to work on those lower arms, those back arms. We got to lower those arms into place. So we're going to reverse our step. So now we need to lower those arms, those rear, those rear arms. Those arms in the back, we need to lower them. This is where this pedal comes into play. We're gonna pull on it. Okay, it, it takes a lot of force. Okay, I gotta pull it all the way to that point, and then I gotta lift this lever. Okay, lifting that lever holds the pedal in this spot right here. That's up now, don't push it down. Now we come down here, we can see, oh, the arms have reappeared. So now we gotta put these arms, and this is a hard one. Move this lever out of the way again. This is hard. I have had my, my wife help me before. Um, you gotta, you gotta. So the, what happens is, is you need, to, you need to push the deck back. It needs to be back. And you need to push this pin out and get that pin in that hole. I'm gonna have to put the camera down uh, because it takes a lot of work. And what happens is, is the, the mower creeps up on you. It wants to go that way, but you've gotta keep it back in order for that pin to go in that hole. Okay, so I've got the camera down. Okay, then that went a little better than I thought. Sometimes they go right in, sometimes they don't. But make sure that is like that. And that pin is in and locked. That, that lift arm is in that pin now. I have thought I had it installed and I didn't have it installed correctly. And your deck will mow unevenly. So make sure it's like that. Okay, over on the right side, we got one more to go. Control arm, we gotta pull this pin out and get that into that. But again, you gotta push back on the mower. It's not installed yet. I'm gonna have to put the camera down and install it. Okay, so the tricks I've learned on this. You wanna push the deck back. I've found that pull, pushing the pin from the back side, and then I'm manipulating the control arm. If I push, keep pushing back on the deck, we'll go. Okay, it went. So see, my pin is nice and straight now. This control arm has got is this pin is in that control arm's arm. Okay, it's nice and straight. Okay. But the trick I found is you want to the deck creeps up on you. It keeps it creeps towards the front. The control arm doesn't move, but the deck wants to move forward. If you keep pushing back on the deck, this pin will line up with that hole. That can be really, really tricky. So now we've got the front pin in, and the back pins are in. Now we've got to put the belt between the mower and the, and the uh, deck in. Back on the left side, I like to get everything ready. So I like to move this on the inside here so that I have it ready. I'm not gonna hook it up yet though. So there's the pulley from the engine. Hard to see, but there's the pulley. There, this, remember this pulley here had a top pulley to it. A little hard to see. 
So we're going to put it on the front engine first. Come back here and grab it. And then we're going to put it on this. this so there's that back pulley. See, there's the, the back pulley. We're going to put it on that back pulley. So I've got the belt. Wants to get stuck. Okay. Okay, I've got it on the back pulley and the front pulley. Now I'm going to move this control arm. So now I want to put this control arm back in. I got to move it a little bit. Okay, push it in a little bit so like you got some room. And move it over here. Move it. This is hard. Now I'm going to line this up with this this hole. It's starting to go down. Push it down. Get it in the other way. Okay, it's in. Now I've got to put the wash. Remember, I kept my washer and this kind of like cotter pin thing. So that there's an opening in the bottom of that 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 cotter pin is going to go into. But you got to make sure you get the washer on first. So there's the bottom side of that. There's the hole. See the hole? That's what that pin's going to go into. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to show you. Put the, put the. I got the washer. Put the washer on, and then you just got to find that hole. And you're gonna push that pin on. So there's what it looks like. Now I can move this lever, and that controls that back arm. That's what's gonna put tension on the. Um, belt between the engine and the mower deck so make sure it's on the front still make sure it's on the back yep then you're going to go ahead and tension this and put it in the little hole right there voila now we gotta take the tension off of this so again you're going to pull it back towards you when i pull this back towards me i'm, I'm releasing make sure you hold it it's going to snap back at you then you're gonna push this lever down, okay? Take the tension off, okay? And then move that lever right there, down. See how I move that lever down? Now I'm gonna let this go. The deck is connected. Now we gotta reset our, um, our depth of the deck, but when I press on this, it lifts the deck. My deck's going up and down. So lift your deck. Now lock it the normal way. Reestablish your deck height. 2.5 is where I go. Now when you push down, you're done, ready to go. Give yourself about an hour to do that job. And it's a back killer. You know, I've had this deck on and off. I've had this more now, five, six years. I've had this deck on and off 10, 20 times. It might get a little easier, but man, it's still a pain. It's heavy, awkward. Maybe moving those wheels would help, but I just, like again, I just don't want to take the time to, those are just pretty hard to move in my opinion. But um, yeah, so let's go fire it up and see how it does. Okay, I've got it fired up. Okay, so it's good to go now. Um, I think those belts last anywhere from, I want to say five to six years maybe. I use my mower pretty heavily. Uh, as long as you don't get a stick in there or something. I have had a stick get in there and destroy my belt. But I'm pretty aggressive with sticks. So, 
but that's why I went with the, that's why if I'm going to replace a belt on this, I don't like messing with it. I'm going to put the best belt I can in there. So I'm done with it. I don't want to mess with this anymore. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I'm going to be doing, I got another, got my dad's Cub Cadet out here. I'm going to be doing several videos on it. I'll be doing a comparison video with it against this and I'll also be doing how to change the belt, oil, everything on that. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.